Hey everyone, Cody from Mac Telecom Networks. Today we're going to be taking a look at an update that a lot of people have been waiting for and some haven't even opened up their device until this came out. Although it isn't a huge update, it is an important one for most people. Unify OS 4.2.8 for the UNAS finally brings RAID 6 functionality, so let's jump right in. The first improvement we're going to take a look at is the support for the RAID 6, and it's very easy to find. All we need to do is click on our settings wheel, go to control plane, and then we need to go over to storage. From our storage, you could see that I'm using RAID 5. We could also click on storage RAID settings, and a pop-up on the right-hand side will come up with our basic protection RAID 5. We can now see RAID 6, and we have RAID 10. If we click on RAID 6, a pop-up at the bottom will come up saying switching to advanced protection will not reformat the storage. An additional drive is required to create the second parity drive after switching to advanced protection. Depending on the amount of disks that you have in your UNAS, I only have four, but if we only have two, it will only do RAID 1. If we have three, it will do RAID 5. And then if we have four or more, it's going to do RAID 6 and we could also check off the hot spare. Now, I'm not gonna be switching mine to RAID 6 right now. RAID 5 is working fine for what I need it for, but this is the setting where you would set it up. Another improvement that was done under Unified Drive Application 2.0.1, which is also released, is our backup task. You can see that I have a backup task. It failed going to my Synology, that's offline. But to create a new task, we just need to click the tab here, and I'm gonna say backup to cloud. Now we need to select what files we want to back up. We're going to do all files and then we have our backup or our destination location. So we either could do a remote UNAS, an SMB server, or we have cloud services. So they did add OneDrive and they added Dropbox. A small improvement, they have added executing executable files within our SMB. I have Unify Identity here and we could actually launch it right from our share, which is nice to see. Another small improvement is under our files. Clicking on all files and then on my drive, we could see on the right hand pane that we have our activity. And this is gonna show us what's been going on with these specific folders or the drives. And that is nice to see. Most of mine is just different snapshots. I haven't been pushing too much data to this, but we could also see that down in the system log as well. Now we could click on file activity and that's gonna show what's been happening. And you could see it's just a bunch of different snapshots for my UNAS. That's gonna be it for this video on the new UNAS update as well as the unified drive. It was short, but sweet. A lot of people have been waiting for this RAID 6 support and now they could finally have it. If you have any questions about this video, please leave it in the comments below. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. All right, thanks.